I know the results weren't what you guys wanted last week. How do you, you regroup from that? What what positives do you take? Where can you improve? Um, one thing that our coach emphasizes is just getting back to uh, re, re, rebuilding on our foundation, really resetting the foundation, really going back to our five principles and our five covenants, really. Uh, one of the things that we would point emphasis on is just getting back to uh, playing at our highest level as a team and understanding what that means and what that entails. And so it's really about just uh, building on building on the positives, uh, knowing that uh, knowing that we haven't played at our highest level yet, and that's really the goal. And playing at a highest level allows us to have a chance at winning because I mean, you know, winning is never guaranteed, but we still haven't played at our highest level as a team yet. And so that's really the goal moving forward, and we aim to do that uh, this week moving into the game. So. Give us a quick rundown on Northern Illinois' offense and what you guys are expecting to see. Northern Illinois runs a whole bunch of different types of formations. Um, they're very multiple. They run 22 personnel, 12 personnel, 11 personnel. Uh, they're very run heavy, very run heavy. They pass here and there, but we know that they're very run heavy. So, I mean, we're going to have a whole bunch of personnel to uh, combat their personnel as well and um, just understand that they, they're, they, they're a downhill uh, team. They want to run it down our throats and so that's that's the biggest deal like you're stopping the run and then when time when it's time to stop the pass stop the pass as well Anthony is on base field like well over 100 tackles I know there's more to it than that but like what have you seen from him this year in terms of his improvement um he's just it's crazy because he came in here as a safety yeah and um really his sophomore year like he was thrown in the fire playing linebacker and really it's just been growth overall as just a football player his IQ is high uh, the communication is high as well. Like being able to uh, have him in front of me and just communicate uh, a lot of, just communicate ball is, is huge. Him and Ethan Barr and even Kane Patterson, like the whole linebacker group. Like I just feel like there's just been a lot of growth, especially from last year to now, even in coverages and just just from a communication standpoint, he's just grown a lot. And uh, his IQ is just really, really high. And it's, it's, it's a blessing to play with someone like that, especially as athletic and as just as freakishly talented he is, as he is. Thank, Thank you, Max. Max.